Hello co-creators, I'm Kelly Keith. I'm a spiritual happiness life coach and today we will be doing a tarot reading, a love tarot reading for Libras. It is called What's the Future of This Relationship? So whatever current relationship you are in, it is based off of that relationship. So we're just going to dive deep today. Remember to always check with your own cards to see if any of the messages or cards, similar cards come out so you can validate your messages with all readers. I suggest this. Um, you know, if you're going to watch tarot readings, you got to take some initiative to learn them. So you're not always just taking what others say to face value. You got to build this inner GPS system. And that is one way to do it is by practicing tarot. What else? Um, also just take what resonates, leave the rest. Remember that energy is forever changing and nothing is set in stone. Okay. So let's get it. Libra. God's goddesses and angels of the light, higher self source, deceased love, ancestors, guides. Please give me a clear message for Libra. The collective of Libras. Please give us a clear message. What's the future of this relationship? I need five cards, please. Show me for Libra what we need to see. Show me for Libra, the collective of Libra, calling Libra's higher self and guides. What we need to see, a clear message, please. Show me a clear message. One more time. All right. Not clear enough for me. Okay. Okay, Libra's. Bottom of the deck, the star. Maybe you have an online platform. Maybe you should start one. Um, you are a star. You shine bright. Um, your energy that you are in right now, giving hope, blessings, and fame. That is the energy that you are in right now. Currently, healing energy as well. It represents healing energy. <clears throat> Okay, so I pulled your oracle messages already. Let's get it. Okay, so what I see here in the candy cane angel, it's time for a treat. So maybe <clears throat> number 37, 5, 32 means something to you. Oh, and 36. Deep breath. Okay, so the candy cane angel, it's time for a treat. You have maybe um, not been putting yourself first in this relationship, this current relationship. You need to uh, start realizing that you need a treat. You need to treat yourself to some self-love, something that's specifically just for you, Libra. That is what I see. Um, that's what's hidden, is that you're not realizing that you need a treat it's time to treat yourself okay so that is the advice that i'm seeing so far in your oracle messages the next is there is change change is here it's time time has it's changes need to happen we're gonna dig deeper but it's something in this relationship there has to be a change okay um or you've already experienced this. This is energy that you are currently in as of today, okay? Whenever you found this message. It doesn't matter when you found this message. It's just the fact that it was a love message and it's about what's the future of this relationship and whatever you came here thinking of, whatever person you came here thinking of, it is based off of that. This That is what this message is for and the advice, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so change needs to happen. Um, and then also, why have you attracted um, this to you at this time? Because of calm amid chaos. So you attracted this at this time because you need to follow your inner guidance system. 
like I said, you need to strengthen your intuition right now, Libra. You need to follow your inner guidance system. Whatever your gut says is the right thing to do. Whatever the your gut is saying is going on is what is going on. Especially if I trigger you with anything in this reading, that is your gut matching what I'm saying. Okay, just giving you some advice. Okay, the other oracle message I got, what you must do now is communication. Radiance, shine, Libra, balance. Your, your energy expression, communication, acceleration with that. Communicate, communicate, communicate. That is what you must do now based off of this relationship, okay? So moving into the tarot messages. Let me make sure there's nothing. Okay, I, everything looks good. Okay, okay, wait. The tower can represent discovery. Okay, so the strength of the relationship is that there is change. There's been revelations. You have already, the strength of the relationship is the worst is over. You guys are rebuilding something. And that is the strength that you were able to come, even though the house was burning down, between your love and your relationship, you can't really see it. It's a dark card. But it's showing me there's a house burning down. And there's a man walking away. And, you know, ego, destruction of the ego, things like that, was all overcome because this is in the strength position. You are rebuilding, like, after the storm. Like can't calm amid the chaos. Like you have responded and reacted in a healthy way in this relationship, you guys, together. That is your strength. Okay? That's the strength of the relationship. Next, the challenge. You need to play more. I see the page of wands here. I see you need to have more imagination. Um, be more in touch with your inner child child sides of the relationship. Um, have more impulsiveness. Don't be so like to the book of everything. Gotta follow the rules. Gotta follow a routine. Gotta have missionary position. <laughs> I don't know. We only have to do it in the bedroom. I don't know. This is not a 18 plus, so I'm not going to go there. But I'm just saying, be more playful. That is the challenge in this relationship. You have to have more fun. You have to create some kind of fun together, that you guys are playing together, okay? Having a childlike sense of awe and wonder with each other, more imagination, more fun, okay? That is the challenge in this relationship, Libra. Um, your third, okay, so your lesson is you need to let go of the past. This is pretty clear. You have to let go of the past, of all of that that you just walked away from. That is your strength that you guys got through. You need to let all that go. You can't hold on to anything, any of the pain, any of the trauma, any of the words that were said that cut like knives. All of that needs to be let go if this relationship is going to have a positive outcome for the future, okay? Your lesson is... You need to let go of the past. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other person that you are asking about, um, their lesson is they need to, um, they need to let go of lack mentality. and feeling rejected, feeling hard times and struggle. Yeah, lacking. They need to let go of losing you in the past or the thought of losing you 
the lack mentality with finances, with you, with anything that is of lack, they and anything of struggle, they have to let go. That person has to let go. And also I'm seeing here somebody looking in at two people. Okay, I don't know your life. Take it how it resonates. See how that resonates with your gut, the picture that you're seeing. This girl in a wedding dress looking in at two people in the window. I was giving you the traditional meanings of this card. But this might mean something to you. And I don't like giving messages like that. But the less, this is for the lesson of the other person. And it represents lack and struggle. So they just need to overcome that or whatever the picture made you feel. They need to overcome whatever situation it is that just passed, okay? And the fifth card out is the future of the relationship. And I see here inspiration, ideas, and again, communication, honest, truthful communication ace of swords it's divinely guided the truth needs to come to light i see the future of this relationship needs that to survive okay that is what i see for you i have one more oracle message for you it's called propagating energy see she's holding like the world in her hand okay i'm gonna read it from the book this card represents the need to gather in your personal energy. You need to take inventory of all your unused or more importantly, your misused power and store it for an essential purpose. Have you ever been in a situation that drains you or of your drains you of your vitality? Is there a specific person you deal with who depletes you? Reflect on what parts of your life are diminishing your energy and how to pull that energy back to you to redirect it toward a better purpose and strengthen your intuition more. Libra, that is what I see for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and please like, share, and subscribe and bye for now.